The company started in April 17th of uh, 1876. It's always been here in Van Wert, Ohio. My father got interested in a um, antique Model T fire truck that a gentleman owned over in the Cleveland area. We picked it up and from there he started reading about the history and the memorabilia. Typically, you know, in a town like Van Wert, there might be four or five or six fire departments and they would all answer the alarm, knowing that there was a fire at this premises or office or place of business. And they would look for a fire mark, which was a plaque. It was a plaque to identify who was being paid for providing the emergency service. And if you didn't have a mark, everybody just stood around and watched it burn because you didn't pay for the rescue service, right? Fire departments were for-profit enterprises. And there was a time where it transitioned where the city started taxing everyone for the coverage or for the services and the folks that were doing it for profit, used to be firemen, decided why don't we just keep billing everybody but now what we'll do is we'll pay for the fire damage and that was the transition between fire department and fire insurance company. So my father thought it was really interesting and certainly worth preserving and so we ended up with about 4,800 square feet of, of museum here. Certainly the equipment, I think, is, is, is very, very interesting. The piece behind me here is a, is a 1907 Aaron's steam pumper that was actually used here in Van Wert, Ohio. We also have the first hand-drawn piece of equipment that was used in Van Wert. So this is kind of nice local history that uh, we have where it's actually contributed to the safety of the community and, and yet it's functional enough that we can take it out and show it off to the community in the various parades that we have in town. Most of the collecting that is done by fire memorabilia people it has to do not only with the evolution of the helmet from the old colonial times where it was a felt hat to somewhat of the modern day look of the helmet where they were leather and all of that. But the two important things on those old helmets are the front piece that identifies the fire department and the finial that's on top of the hat, which collectors, you've got to have one of every one. Well, there's, you know, probably 20 or 30 different types of finials that the hat manufacturers made. Of course, they all carried axes and pikes and things like that to get into access to buildings. But the finials is more of an identifier, really. Back in the colonial times, the only extinguishers that they really had was a glass grenade extinguisher, which was a glass jar or, or bottle. It was filled with uh, an acidic material. The idea was if there was a fire on the carpet, you'd take down one of these glass bottles, chuck it at the fire, it would break, disperse the liquid, and put out the fire. The collection of the, the fire grenades that we have is probably one of three in the world uh, as, as extensive and complete uh, as anywhere. The trumpets, I think, are are very, very uh, fun. It was command trumpets they used to shout the orders. That was the predecessor to the walkie-talkie. We have a pretty extensive collection of uh, fire toys, so naturally we're kind of drawn to that when you're a kid running around and pushing them around on the ground. But it's all just very interesting, not only just the history, but, but the significance of what it contributed in the evolution of both you know, fire protection and fire safety and then the insurance business. So it's, uh, it's pretty enjoyable to see. Displayed are probably 2,000, 3,000 items. We probably have that much yet in storage that we aren't displaying. It's an amazing collection. We have some equipment that you won't see other places and our capability to take some of that equipment, at least two or three pieces out and, and share them with the community in addition to just having it on display here is pretty satisfying. Different people react differently to different items and some are very interested in the 
the, the technical working pieces of the machinery or how did they do this or the equipment itself or some are into the clothing and the and the, I guess the operations of the old time fire departments. So you get, you know, you try to have a little bit of something for everybody and uh, most of our visitors always say, gee, I'd really like to come back someday. We're more than happy to entertain anybody coming down to see what we have here.